If there's one thing that I love, it's golf technology that you can take to the golf course to help you improve your game. And no, I haven't grown a bionic arm. So let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube video. Guys, in today's video I have the Control Swing Master. As I said in the introduction guys, no this isn't Terminator 2, I haven't grown a bionic arm, but it could well help me improve my game, it may well help you improve your game. I've teamed up with the guys at Control Swing Master to bring you this video and I've been on the driving range already with this thing and I must say it's already been rather productive, I feel like I've had a good practice session, but the big thing for me is I get to take this out on the golf course now here at Woolley Park. Guys, the one thing that goes generally when people are under pressure and playing badly is tempo. This is exactly what the Control Swing Master can help you with, also club face and swing path. If you can measure all those things out here on the golf course whilst playing golf and wearing something that is quite comfortable, I think we could be on to a winner. So let's play a couple of holes guys, let's see exactly what it says about my golf swing, let's see exactly if it can help me improve my golf swing. Also guys there's a link in the description below if you do want to grab one of these and see for yourself. Also I have taken the quiz on the website, if you want to do that you can see exactly how you could potentially improve your game. Right we're going to hit a couple of mid irons because that's exactly what I put that I do want to improve. We do need some golf balls though which I'm struggling to get out of here. Right, three golf balls, 170 yards, and I've already been on the driving range, as I've said, guys, calibrating the Control Swing Master. I hit 10 shots, well, I actually hit 15 shots, 10 good ones and five bad ones, because I want to see what the difference is between my good shots and my bad shots. I called it the Pete Fade, as you'll see, because when I had a lesson with Pete Cowan, I was trying to work on a baby fade. That's exactly what we're going to continue in this video. Right, I'm just going to play my normal game guys, we've got the app open, so you should be able to see that screen now, and let's calibrate this thing, that should do it I think, and away we go. Oh that is a nice one, that is at it, be good! Speed up your backswing, <laughs> speed up your downswing, with. great downswing, to me as well. I didn't close your club face. Swing out to in. The tempo, ideal ratio for tempo is 3.70. I got 3.40. Slow down your backswing. The backswing was too fast, but the downswing was fantastic. It actually resulted in quite a nice shot. Add swing to current model. Do we call it a draw? Can't really call it a draw. We're going to call it a pull straight. And it was a touch thin. Confirm. Finish next one. So more out to in for that fade. So what this is doing, guys, it's judging against the shots that I calibrated against on the driving range. We need to play a fade into this flag, not a pull. Oh, that's leaking a little bit to the right. That face was probably more open. See, this is very interesting, guys. So it's actually totally different to how I warmed up on the driving range. I actually swung pretty well on the driving range. It's some nice straight shots, as you'll see here. But again, tempo was too fast. Slow down your backswing, slow down your downswing. The downswing was too fast there as well. On this next one, guys, we are going to try and slow it down, see if it can improve it a little bit. Because like I said at the start of this video, that is the first thing that goes. So I hear what you're all saying, guys. How does it work? How does it gauge club path? How does it gauge swing path? And how can it gauge tempo? So it's the two sensors on the back of the hand and the back of the arm here. It is a little bit loose, this one for me, actually. I should have ordered large instead of extra large. I just thought the bicep was a little bit bigger than maybe it is. Let's give this a clean and move on. Good thing is it's machine washable as well, I've got a bit of mud on it already but you can wash it so. Uh, right, same shot. It was a lot slower and a much better strike. Speed up your backswing. Slow down your downswing. Good club face. Swing, out to in. So guys, a couple of interesting shots there and it goes to show, so on the driving range, I'm going to overlay the footage again now, I actually hit some really good shots, the tempo was good, as the control swing master did say. We step on the golf course and all of a sudden my tempo picks up, I start swinging a little bit faster, I don't hit that baby fade that I've been trying to do. So for me, definitely something that you can take to the golf course, we're going to get on the next tee, try and slow that tempo down a bit, see if we can control that club face a little bit better start to control the shots a little bit more so you'll see just how easy this is to set up they go 
straight on and off the little sensors and they come with quite a cool little charger as well just to charge these up they work together in tandem to work out the tempo to work out the speed and it's interesting because you can have a quick speed but a bad tempo or a bad tempo but a different speed so just trying to work that out myself here let's get on that next tee let's see if we can get a better tempo and hit some closer golf shots although i must admit calling that one a pull does seem a little bit uh, harsh at three feet away pull left and then that was the one where the club face stayed open so let's see if we can resurrect this on the next then we're gonna have one final shot at the third hole which is my favorite hole on this golf course don't go anywhere and you see guys i think this could be quite an interesting tool say if you are working on your game you're working on trying to play different shot types you could get a baseline of all those different shot types then maybe bring it on the golf course like i am doing here or stay and practice those on the driving range. All the reviews I've seen on the Control Swing Master so far have been in studios, on driving ranges. For me, the beauty of it is you can bring it out here in the golf course and still get feedback. 148 yards, we're gonna stick with that mid iron and stick with that little fade that we're trying to hit. Club face and swing path haven't been that bad. Slow that tempo down, aim at the right place. It's a little bit of a pull, guys. How did that tempo Great back look? Swing. Speed up your downswing. Close your club face. Good swing path. Good swing path. Tempo wasn't great again. Ideal. It's not far off. The backswing isn't far off. That was good. Speed up downswing. So what I'm taking from that, backswing good, downswing too slow. That's why I mistruck it ever so slightly. Right. So same backswing, speed up transition a little bit, all systems go. Again, it's just a little bit pulley. Speed up your backswing, slow down your downswing, good club face, swing out so to So this just goes to show how precise, not only the golf swing is, but how precise the control swing master is. Now I need to slow down the downswing. I did it too fast and the backswing was almost too slow but it's very, very marginal. You see how close those numbers are to the ideals. Big fan of that club face as well. So it's totally square club face. We are getting somewhere. Right, last shot here. Then we're gonna move on. We're gonna hit, guys, we are putting all our eggs into one basket on the final hole. They're not terrible shots again though. Let's see if we can. Right, come on, same as on the driving range. Club face open, swing path out to the right, and that was a big horrible block to the right. I might need to get back in the driving range with this. Right guys, final hole, let's see if we can nail that tempo, get one close to the green. And guys, if you wanna see the progress I make with this, I'm gonna stick with it. I wanna try and nail that tempo, try and get that club face right, and play that baby fade that we all dream about more often. Then check out my Instagram, because I will be doing updates on there, just to see we only need one ball here to see if we can do it. Right, calibration time, I'm miles away. Where's my phone? Right. Let's do this. Nice tempo, nice club face, baby fade. Just finishing left. Great tempo. Great, Great tempo, downswing. yes! Great downswing. Swing path way too far from the inside and that's exactly what I know I do, even though the club face was open, it finished out to the left great tempo guys we're going to leave it there thank you so much for watching if you do want to get your very own control swing master there's a link in the description below check out my instagram if you want to see how i get on with this in the long term apart from that i'm going to take that as uh, we're going to finish on there look great tempo great see backswing great downswing it says see you tomorrow